The moment is here. SpaceX has begun its live stream for the highly anticipated mission. Are you ready to witness history? Before diving into this event, there's another exciting development. The Falcon 9 launch carrying lunar landers to advance lunar exploration. Meanwhile, China has successfully launched a rocket from its sea-based platform, marking the start of a new space initiative. Join us as we explore these milestones in today's episode of Great SpaceX. It's only been less than two months, but the much-anticipated next flight of SpaceX's Starship is imminent. SpaceX has officially confirmed January 15th as the target date for Starship's seventh flight. This announcement follows previous confirmations, road closure schedules, and safety notices from various agencies. On X, SpaceX wrote, Starship's seventh flight test is targeted to launch Wednesday, January 15th with a 60-minute launch window opening at 4 p.m. Central. The Starbase team is keeping a close eye on weather conditions. To ensure fans don't miss a moment, SpaceX has also pinned the livestream link on its page. The scheduled launch will occur early in the morning, allowing the landing attempts for both Super Heavy and Ship to take place in daylight. SpaceX stated in its update that the livestream will begin 35 minutes before liftoff, so be sure to mark your calendars and set reminders for this milestone event. As with any launch, weather conditions remain a critical factor. While the targeted time has been determined, SpaceX continues to monitor the unpredictable weather closely. Elon Musk echoed this sentiment, tweeting, Starship Flight 7 launches tomorrow, provided weather is good. To prepare the local area for the event, SpaceX has also released an advisory about noise levels and potential sonic booms at Starbase. Observers have reported ongoing preparations including water deliveries to the launch site, likely for the upgraded water deluge system, which will be activated to protect the pad during the intense heat and vibration of liftoff. The Starship and Super Heavy booster remain securely positioned on the launch pad, with no further changes anticipated before the flight. The removal of the ship transport stand from the launch site further confirms that everything is set for January 15th. As SpaceX outlined, the mission is expected to last approximately 60 minutes. The countdown process will include fueling, which begins 45 minutes before launch. Notably, the upgraded ship version 2 features larger fuel tanks than the earlier V1 model, allowing for increased efficiency and capability. In the final moments before liftoff, the engine chill process will occur to prepare the Raptor engines. Once fueled, the water deluge system will activate, cooling and protecting the pad. Following this, the engines will ignite in sequence, and Starship will lift off for the seventh time. During the flight, Starship will pass through Max Q, the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure, before separating from the Super Heavy Booster via hot staging. B-14 will then initiate its landing sequence, deploying grid fins and firing its engines for a controlled descent. The highlight of this process will undoubtedly be the attempt to catch B-14 using the mechanical chopstick arms on the launch tower. This maneuver, while challenging, represents a significant step forward in SpaceX's quest for full rocket reusability. Backup plans are in place in case the catch attempt is not successful, but the hope is that the primary plan will proceed as intended. Meanwhile, in orbit, Starship will continue its journey, deploying its payload of mock Starlink satellites. This will be the first test of the newly designed payload deployment system, which operates like a PEZ dispenser to release satellites from the rear of the spacecraft. After completing its orbital tasks, Starship will initiate re-entry, a critical phase where its heat shield, flaps, and landing systems will be put to the test. If successful, Starship will navigate through re-entry and land in the Indian Ocean, marking another milestone in its development. This flight is crucial for testing upgrades in the Starship V2, including improvements in reusability, payload capacity, and structural design. Success will enable future missions, including catching both the Super Heavy Booster and Starship stages. It also marks the start of an ambitious year for SpaceX, with up to 25 Starship flights planned throughout 2025. The FAA recently held a meeting discussing increased Starship launch frequencies at Starbase with the details available on YouTube. In comparison, while Starship preps for its seventh flight, Blue Origin's new Glenn faces delays, with its maiden flight now set for the 16th or later. SpaceX continues to lead the industry amid growing competition. As the countdown to January 15th begins, excitement builds for this pivotal mission, showcasing SpaceX's engineering and setting the stage for a groundbreaking year. Ready for the launch? Comment GO7! And don't forget to like the video, as well as subscribe for updates on SpaceX's journey. But even before all of that, at 1.11 a.m. Eastern, SpaceX launched a Falcon 9 rocket from LC-39A at Kennedy Space Center, Florida, carrying two lunar spacecraft into orbit. 
This mission, a precursor to a year packed with lunar activities, demonstrated SpaceX's growing role in advancing lunar exploration. Before liftoff, SpaceX shared images of the payloads secured within the rocket's capsule and the Falcon 9 standing ready on the launch pad. The launch process followed the standard Falcon 9 sequence. About two and a half minutes after launch, the first and second stages separated. The reusable booster, designated B-1085, successfully landed on a drone ship approximately eight and a half minutes after launch, marking its fifth recovery. Meanwhile, the second stage continued its journey, deploying the payloads into their respective trajectories. The spacecraft deployment began over an hour after liftoff. Firefly Aerospace's Blue Ghost lander was released first, followed by Japan's Resilience lander about 30 minutes later. These spacecraft are now on separate missions, each contributing to humanity's understanding of and operations on the moon. Blue Ghost will spend 25 days orbiting Earth before embarking on a 16-day journey to the moon, followed by four days in lunar orbit. The final phase, lasting 15 days, will see Blue Ghost landing on the moon to perform its primary mission, scientific research. This includes studying the moon, Earth, and the sun, as well as providing the first in-depth observation of the moon's magnetosphere dynamics otherwise known as its breathing process, as described by NASA. The lander carries 10 NASA payloads under the Commercial Lunar Payload Services Program, which aims to advance lunar science and technology. In parallel, Japan's resilient spacecraft will take a longer route, reaching the moon four to five months after launch. Its mission includes deploying a small rover to collect soil and rock samples. Additionally, the mission will test initial communication and power supply systems on the moon, a critical step toward establishing a sustainable lunar infrastructure. The launch marked the 425th Falcon 9 mission and SpaceX's eighth mission of the year, reinforcing the company's leadership in the aerospace industry. The success of this mission underscores SpaceX's crucial role in lunar exploration, a role it has steadily expanded. Last year, SpaceX launched the IM-1 mission for NASA and Intuitive Machines. Following the Blue Ghost mission, it will launch the IM-2 mission later this year, and by year's end, Falcon Heavy will support the Griffin mission. These milestones not only showcase SpaceX's capabilities, but also serve as vital preparations for upcoming Starship missions. Among these future missions is the anticipated unmanned Starship HLS mission, expected later this year or early next year. This mission will pave the way for the Artemis III crewed moon landing, projected for mid-2027. While there is significant work ahead, the consistent success of Falcon 9 missions and the progress of Starship development provide a strong foundation for confidence. The moon feels closer than ever as these advancements unfold. Meanwhile, on the other side of the globe, China is making strides in space exploration with its own significant launch. At 10 p.m. Eastern on January 12th, China launched its Jialong-3, or Smart Dragon 3, solid rocket from an offshore platform near Haiyang City in Shandong Province. Jialong-3, with a carrying capacity of 1.56 tons to sun-synchronous orbit, carried 1.6 tons on this mission, showcasing improvements in its performance. CASC officials, including Gao Li Jun, highlighted plans to further enhance the rocket's capabilities. These upgrades aim to reduce launch costs and increase payload capacity to approximately two tons. Such improvements are integral to China's ambitions to offer competitive commercial launch services. What stands out about this mission is its sea-based launch, reflecting China's strategic shift away from traditional land platforms. Sea launches minimize risks to people and property, improve safety for landing zones, and reduce costs associated with overland trajectories. This marks the fifth sea-based launch for GA Long 3 and the first from a low inclination orbit near Haiyang. CASC emphasized the advantages of this launch site, including shorter preparation times and cost-effective services for satellite customers. China's focus on sea-based operations signals its intent to compete with the United States in the commercial space sector. Plans are underway for 10 sea launches in 2025, up from six last year, with a long-term goal of achieving 100 sea launches annually by 2027. While these ambitions are impressive, China faces significant challenges in matching the scale and pace of SpaceX. In 2024, China conducted 68 launches, falling short of its 100 launch goal, while SpaceX nearly doubled that figure with close to 140 launches. As China expands its sea-based operations, it remains to be seen how these efforts will compare with the established dominance of SpaceX. In both the US and China, the momentum of space exploration is accelerating, with each nation pushing technological boundaries. From the Falcon 9's dual lunar mission to China's offshore rocket launches, these developments are reshaping humanity's journey to the moon and beyond. The competition and collaboration between nations and private companies are propelling us into a new era of exploration, where the moon is not just a distant goal, but an increasingly accessible frontier.
This has been Kevin from Great SpaceX. Thank you so much for tuning in, and until next time, keep looking up.